Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity with myself, Lewis. Have you brilliant? Having yourself a great day as always. In the last episode, we made ourselves some vampire children. Check it out. We got we got henchmen. <laughs> it's amazing. They look real cool. Villager guys. They're all vampired up and whatnot. And that was because we made our way to the highest level of vampireness. We're level 10 now, so we can infect others with our vampire goodness. That sounds so wrong, but we can do it. And I think what we're going to do today is we're going to get ourselves up to the highest form of werewolf. I believe that's going to be a good thing. And I also would like to make something very special near the end of the episode, but we're not going to make that just yet. I'm uh, pretty excited for that. I updated the mod pack to 1.6.0. I've been on one of the older versions for a little while now because the 1.5 versions didn't work for me. I had constant frame rate issues and it was lagging. So I waited, it came to 1.6, I tried it out and it seems okay so far. There isn't actually, I can't find a changelog for it. I went on the, uh, I went on, the, bearing in mind if you're watching this now, it might have been a day or two since I recorded this. It might be out by now. Uh, but when I looked on there, there was no change log, so I don't really know what's actually changed. I'm guessing it's just a bunch of mod updates and not a great deal of anything else, but yes. So, should we do this? It looks like at the minute we have to get a load of wolves. Yes, the Voice and Stones form a pack of six wolves. You've yet to master six. So, I've been a little bit cheeky about this. I've gone and got myself a uh, safari net of a wolf in it because I think this is going to be a much easier way of doing it. So if we make our way back to the base and someone was telling me that to do this, you just click on the wolves when you're in wolf form. So we're going to give it a try. I I'm probably going to drop all my armor and stuff. So I might just throw my armor in here for now. There we go. Good stuff. And let's head over this way. We should pop you inside there we'll hold on to the enderman one just for now and let's change ourselves into wolf form cool cool all right i'm a little wolf and we want to click this one and hopefully it's going to form a wolf let's see how this does i don't know whether i need to be in wolf form or wolf man form one of the two all right we spawned a wolf i'm going to turn off for now because i don't want to spawn millions and let's figure out how this works if i just click on them did that do it? I'm guessing it did. It looks like he's become trained. And all I did was click on him. Alright, okay. So we need to do six of these. So let's get this uh, properly doing its thing. And we'll wait for a few more to spawn. Here we go. And. Oh. And there we go. Alright, you. Good, good. You. What's that? One, two, three, four, five. Come on. Spo oh my god, I'm getting millions of dogs. <laughs> That's enough dogs. There's millions of them. Oh, beat him up for me. Beat him up. Yeah, do him in. Is he the bad dog? He's the nasty dog, isn't he? Yeah. He didn't want to become my friend. He got beat up. All right. Dogs, beat him up. Is it because I've already got so many? One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we've already got six. Oh, okay. So if I look up in the air and how. Uh, okay, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't do it like that. Maybe it actually needs to be the sky. Does this put me into a werewolf man form? Yeah. Um, maybe we need to go and do it. Oh, miscraft profiling has been complete. Well, would you look at that? Let's go outside and give it a try. Should, oh, is it daytime? No, I've got a uh, night vision. I always forget about that. So, if I... Are they going to do it? How? Please. It's just, it's just a shift and a click. Ah, there we go. All right, where's my wolf minions? Come to me. Didn't fancy coming to me, no? Alrighty then. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go back to human form. No, that's, that's mini werewolf. That's human form. Good stuff. Alright. We'll, um, 
Uh, you know, let's actually go get our vampire clothes. I was going to leave them down there, and I was thinking, nah, we should probably get our, our vampire clothes. Because if I forget, and, uh, you know, I'll never, I'll never remember where they are. So let's grab these guys. There we go, good stuff. Okay, alright. So these wolves should be my friend now. So let's go back to the totem and see if that's done it. And uh, one thing I have noticed is my vampire children are yet to actually get me any blood. So I don't know when that's going to happen. Like, they've been down here for a while. They've got their, uh, you know, they've got their bowls out. Which don't seem to be doing a great deal. Um, I'm going to leave it a little while. This is pretty much after I finished the last episode, by the way. So it's there has been no night since then. So I haven't given it any time to do its thing. I just thought, you know, if I just leave it while we do other stuff, maybe it'll work. I'd quite like to have an additional skill on here. I just can't do it at the minute. Right, let's put that away. I've yet to master one wolf. <laughs> what? Form a pack of six wolves. You've yet to master one. So I haven't even mastered a wolf yet? I thought I'd mastered a wolf. How do we do this? Alright, let me go back to the base. Maybe I need to do it in wolfman form. Have we still got wolves down here? We have, but they're all friendly wolves. So I've made loads of friends. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's not what we want. Let's try spawning some more wolves. And we'll see if we can make this work. And maybe I'll try it in wolfman form this time. Let's go put our armor back in here. There has to be a way of doing this. How can it be so difficult? It's probably not that difficult at all. I probably just have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, Alright, have we spawned some wolves? Alright, we've spawned some wolves. Let's turn that off. Let's go into wolfman form. So I'm a wolf man? Yeah, I'm a wolf man. So let's see if we can do this now. Oh. Alright, so doing it in wolf man form does absolutely nothing. Mini werewolf form. So if I right click, it makes them mine. Yeah, it just, it does... Mm. Hmm. I'm taming wolves, but I have a horrible feeling that it might be because they're spawned. Hmm. See, I'm taming wolves. It's working. And I'm not using bones. I do have a little sneaky suspicion, though, that that could be why it's not working. Because they've been spawned. Some mods are known to do that to stop you from, uh, you know, kind of cheating it a little bit. <laughs> Which is most definitely a thing. Is it daytime? Oh, it's daytime. Losing blood. Okay. All right. I'm going to go and check, guys. See how we do this. And I will be back. Because I really want to try and get these finished today. Any blood? No blood. All right. Uh, yeah. I want to get these finished. I'm going to go and look. See how we do this. Well, it looks like I've done it. I haven't done anything. <laughs> Literally, I just slept. This is like four seconds after that, after I said I'm going to go look and see how I do this. I thought I'll come over and see how many walks I've done now, and I've done it. Well, there you go. How easy was that? It says something about the voice, the alpha of the pack mastery is achieved. How at the sky to call your servants at need? Maybe, why well, I'm guessing, is it didn't record, like, it didn't count them. So it was saying, like, you haven't done one yet. I think we'd already done five. It just didn't count them. And then when we did the sixth one, which I did a second ago, it must have just dinged, you know. Maybe that's just how it worked. Maybe it just didn't... Maybe it was never going to say, like, you've done three out of six or you've done four out of six. It was just always going to say you haven't done one out of six yet. And then as soon as you do all of them, it's like, well, you've completed it. Good times. <laughs> so now, if I... Can I do it like this? I think I can do it like this. Let's go into a wolfman form. There we go. We don't drop our armor. Oh, yeah, we do drop our armor in wolfman form. Well, that's fine. Let's put all of it inside here. So if I look at the sky and I howl. Hmm. 
Where's my servant? <laughs> Uh, so Wolfman, Wolfman form games you know, hitting sprinting. So you do with Wolfman game form gains the ability to sneak, shift right click while looking straight up to howl and stun nearby creatures. Um, someone tell, so Wolf form gains the ability to shift right click while looking straight up to howl to summon temporary wolf allies. So Wolf form. Oh, okay. We do it. We gotta be in wolf form. I'm in wolf form. So I think I can look up, shift right click. It's not doing a whole lot of anything at the minute. Ah! 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 Oh, look, there they are! There they are at work! Look! Wolf allies! How many did we summon? Two. I guess the other the other four didn't wanna <laughs> didn't wanna come and say hi. And they've gone again. Well, uh, you know what? At least it works. It's a thing, right? We've managed to get it to work. It's been a pain in the butt to get it work, but it does work nonetheless. So I'm pleased about that. <clears throat> I'm pleased that I managed to get it to work. Now we'd have to do it again. <laughs> So, let's see what the next quest is. It's something about rending. So, Wolfman, uh, Wolfman form gains the ability to rend armor. As Wolfman hunt 30 never pigs, 30 must be found. So, I have to do it as a Wolfman. All right, well, that can't be that hard, can it? Let's go into uh, Wolfman form. There we go. We're going to head off to the... Oh. <laughs> Such a pain in the butt. We're going to head off to the base. There we go. And we're going to go and kill ourselves some pigmen. We can still fly, so it should be pretty easy. I'm guessing we just need to go and kill 30 pigmen. Uh, I got a better idea. I just thought, yeah, we're, we're going uh, to we're gonna be pretty cheap about it once again. Because <laughs> this is such an easy way of doing it. We're going to go over here. And, oh my god, there's millions of dogs everywhere. <laughs> we're going to... Uh, we're going to set one wolf free, and uh, did I just drop that other one on the floor? Yes, I did. And we're going to grab ourselves a pig man, and uh, we'll spawn him that way. Surely that's a much easier way of doing it, I think. Saves a lot of time, doesn't it? And then we'll be on to the last one, which is being able to infect others with wolfman abilities. That includes villagers, so I would like to see how that works. I believe it's probably going to be a test to do it on a villager, much like it was with the uh with turning the villager into a vampire i think it's going to be the, the same type of thing so let's grab you know you can't be annoyed with me i'm your friend so let's sell with free uh there we go it might not be uh you know the best place for him <laughs> the never but at least Oh, he committed suicide. He basically came here and was like, no, nope, no, nope, I don't want to be in this place anymore. This ain't the place for me. Stop dropping the thing. Okay. Got you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now we can go back to the base. And let's go pop this downstairs and we'll go and beat up a load of pig men. We need to kill 30. I think all these dogs are about to die. Uh, they might actually, they might even give me a hand. We'll have to see. But let's pop that in there. We'll turn this on. All right. Let's get ready to beat on some pig dudes. Hopefully there's going to be like a decent amount of them spawn as well. So, uh, But we do a fairly decent amount of damage just being a wolf man. <clears throat> and I think we have to do it as wolf man. It did say that we need to do it as a wolf man. So... Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Wolf Spy. I really wouldn't like it if you were. Uh... I wonder if the wolves are gonna make are gonna mess it up. Hmm. I hope that isn't the case. Um. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? <clears throat> I'll let the. Uh... 
I think I got the last hit just then. I think I got it. Yeah, I got the last hit just then. Uh, the wolves are dying though, which is uh, <laughs> maybe a good thing. I'm just trying to get the last the last shot in it. I don't want to kill the wolves. That's that's the thing. I don't want to hurt the wolves because they're my friends. All right. So there's that quest done. I've killed myself 30 pig guys. Um, you know, pretty easy. You just stay in there and kill the guys. Not hard. And that's uh, gave me uh, sharp claws, I think. So the voice proclaims infernal, uh, infernal foes are defeated. Claws owned to an edge. Armor like paper. You will now rip to shreds. So anyone that has armor, <clears throat> we're going to go and beat them up. The good thing with this, that apparently that I've learned, is uh, if you're on a serve with other people and they actually have, like, really armored gear, you can shred straight through it. Like, it just ignores armor. Pretty good if you're in werewolf form. I don't think it will increase our damage against, like, just random targets. But, you know, if you're fighting someone that is heavily armored, it's pretty good to be able to do that. So that brings us up to werewolf level 9. I think, so we got one left. Take the life of another. From village or friend, then you'll be granted the favor. My blessing to spread. Take the life of another. Slay one from a village or one such as you. So we need to go and fight. Oh, this could be cool. All right, let's, uh, oh, wrong button. Let's head to the village. Good, good. And... Let's uh, go down first, and then we'll turn into a wereman form. All right, here we go. So it's going to be the uh, the priest. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get some bad juju for this. So we're going to kill the priest as a werewolf. There we go. So I killed the priest as a werewolf. Uh, crypt. See ya. Oh. See, <laughs> that could have gone horribly wrong. Okay, so I've killed a, uh, killed a, killed a guy. Is that it? Yeah, you have mastered my path. Now spread my blessing. So, apparently, causing almost fatal damage while in wolfman or werewolf's form. Oh, I thought I was dying for a second then. <laughs> can now spread the curse to players or villagers. This can be disabled for players. Transmission. All right. So if you're on a server, you can disable that. All right. So if we now went to a village and we almost killed someone, it says like causing near fatal damage. That would... Uh, how do we cause almost near? I guess we just almost kill them. I don't even. I can't even see how much health this guy has. Uh, uh, come here. Okay. All right. You stay in there. Whoa. Not good. Go away. I wonder if we can turn like guards into werewolves. Like, wouldn't he just t turn into a werewolf? You gonna turn into a werewolf, my friend? What about you? Now, you're almost dead. I kind of want to know what's going to happen, you know? But, like, let's just go up here for a second. Okay. All right. I just want to see, like, if they're going to wake up and just randomly be a werewolf. Or maybe... Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I know what we could use. Let's try... A... Uh... uh let's go back to the crypt. There we go. Let's go back to human form. We can put on our... Wow. <laughs> we can put back on our uh, clothes now. Alright, it's still night time. It's actually a full moon, isn't it? Is that a full moon? Yeah, it looks like a full moon. Uh, or maybe it's not. It's generally a bit brighter than that when there's a full moon. But what we can use is... If we have any, we can use Wolfsbane. Because Wolfsbane allows us to check whether someone is a uh, is a werewolf or not so if we now head back to that village and uh which one did we kill oh it was this one wasn't it there should be a guard in here yeah there he is all right we're coming through the top we got a wolf's bang so let's see 
if it says if this guy's a villager or not. Or a, uh, you know, a vampire. Alright, it didn't work on him. What about the... <laughs> Says he's not a werewolf. I uh, oh man, how close to like damage do we need to bring him? Should we just kill this guy? There we go. <laughs> we'll just get this guy out of the way. All right. Maybe if I did it in like uh, <clears throat> mini werewolf form. All right, I'm a little wolf. I got a feeling this is gonna kill him though. Yeah, <laughs> that that gun done it. All right, let's go see if we can find another villager. Oh, we got loads of them in here. This is going to be good. Oh. oh, it made a bit of a weird noise just then. Is it just me or did one of them just suddenly come up to like full health? Oh, he already looks a bit shady, doesn't he? I'm pretty definite <clears throat> that guy just then went straight back up to full health. It makes me wonder, is he a werewolf? Oh, he does look a bit shady, doesn't he? The fact that he's not going back to bed either is a little bit, a little bit suspect, isn't it? You know what? Should we test him? Let's test him. You're coming with me, young sir. Let's go back into human form. And, uh... Pop the old uh, swanky clothes back on. And let's head back to the crypt. What is it? Is it daytime? <clears throat> no blood yet. Is it daytime? It's not. But it will be soon. So, if we grab some bone meal, we're going to test him. See if we've just made a uh, werewolf baby. Alright. Break you. So... Are you a werewolf? He is. Oh, there it is. We gone done it. We made a werewolf. I don't know when he's actually going to turn into a werewolf. I think it happens during a full moon. So maybe if uh, we keep this guy here. Let's get a fence. So we've made ourselves a new friend. Let's... Do this become a daytime, so I've got to be a little bit careful. Uh, but let's pop that in there. There we go. So you're not going anywhere. <laughs> you're mine now. We've made a baby. We've made loads of babies. We've got werewolf babies. <clears throat> We've got vampire babies. They're like chilling out on top of their desk. Um, someone actually said in the comment section to be careful of this area here because our guys might get burned by the daylight. You don't have to worry about that because when it becomes daytime, they instantly teleport to their beds and they don't move. Like, they don't go in it, they just kind of stand here and they won't move. Like, you'll see it when it becomes daytime. They'll go boom and they'll kind of fly over there. It is getting that way. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. That's a good sign for me to know as well that I can now sleep. So there is that. So we're going to make one last thing before we call it a day on this episode. And it's something I've wanted to make for a little while now. It's a, it, you know, it's a good bit of fun. So let's head to the base. We're going to need a Never Star. We're going to need some Ender Pearls. And I wonder if these still have power. Looks like they do. It's been so long since I've used any of this. We want ender pearl dust. We're going to make a portal gun. Because <laughs> I love it. So the uh, miniature black hole is all of this around that. We need... Uh, we got eight. That's good. So we need you. Oh, man. It's been so long since I've made one of these. So there's our miniature black hole. We're also going to need some obsidian, a diamond, and some iron. So uh, I wonder if I actually have obsidian in here. The chances are it would be inside my builder's one? Builder's? No. 
Um, where would I keep obsidian? <laughs> Maybe in the magical realm? Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure we do have some. Somewhere. That's a deer. That kind of got me a bit worried. I was like, what is that? Uh, we should hopefully have some around here, maybe? Obsidian? Yeah, good stuff. All right. So we need two bits of obsidian. Yeah. We need a diamond and some iron. So let's actually see if we've got that in here. Diamond? Yep. Iron? Yep. Great success. So if we do that. And, yep. and poof. One portal gun. Noise. Let's uh, go to the base. Because there's something else here I wouldn't mind using. I think. Because we can make, uh, you know, we can add different things to it. But the one that I really like is the potato gun. And we just need to give it a potato OS, which needs all of this stuff. I wonder if I actually uh, have a potato. We might have to do it in the next episode. Because I don't think I have any potato. Oh, we do have a potato. This is good. Where did that go? <laughs> Where did my potato go? Oi! Potato! What's going on? Why are my potatoes just... Oh, they're going in there. They're still doing it? Alright, don't, don't, don't go in there. Okay, alright. That could be worried. I was like, what is going on with my potatoes? We're actually almost out of blood as well. Let's quickly... We'll have a drink from that. Venath. Cool beans. All right, so what do we need to make the uh, potato one? We need a jukebox. We need dandelion. We need redstone torches. All right, I'm going to get with this together, and we'll be right back. All right, I got it. My potato OS. So let's uh, connect these together. So portal gun, potato OS, potato gun. Say it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> nice! We can use the pool gun. Great success. I love it. Very good. I wonder if we can... Uh, that used to be the jumpy thing. I wonder if you can still do that. <laughs> cool beans. Well, there we go, guys. That's going to be that for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have yourself a great day as always. Have a good one. And... Can I even do it here? Yes. Bye-bye.